guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about the flash season 7 today we're going to be talking about some articles that were released online we've got some information about a major cast member and a major character returning to the show for season 7 also we got this other article we're going to go over which is very interesting so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so you know, the next two videos I think I'm going to be talking about pretty similar stuff, some kind of rumours. However, there is some big confirmations that we need to talk about in this video. And we're going to go over that bit first. So we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. And we're going to go over to this Digital Spy article, which will be linked in the description below. Because there is a big reveal that a Flash actor will return in Season 7. It's going to be a surprise return. Well, not really a surprise considering they just literally talked about it. Apart from that, this character is returning. And so who is this character? This character is none other than Jay Garrick. So played by John Wesley Shipp, who obviously was Barry's dad initially. And he's been returning ever since in the form of Jay Garrick, this other version of Barry's dad. And so this is what the article says. So The Flash Season 7 looks set to reintroduce John Wesley Shipp's version of Jay Garrick, who fans will recognise from the Arrowverse crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Garrick's home planet slash dimension Earth 3 was destroyed in the crossover. And although this would naturally lead to the presumption of his death, the character wasn't spotted during or after the cataclysmic event. And we're just going to quickly shift over to the actual source article because Den of Geek gives some longer quotes that I wanted to go over because they were the ones that actually talked to Jay Garrick aka John Wesley Shipp who plays him. So he said, I feel in a good place with Barry, the character who interests me right now is Jay. Having had this long winding road with this franchise and an actor who is particularly placed with Jay Garrick at the moment and so this is how he continues. I know Jay Garrick is coming back to the CW show but they were supposed to be at a further point in the story. They didn't get to play out the end of the season because of Covid as we know. So they've got to tie some things up. Eric Wallace has said that he wants to talk to me about some ideas about Jay Garrick going forward and it's not clear how Jay would have survived the destruction of Earth 3, but whatever the case, it seems like he'll now be in a position to get together with Team Flash without having to run between dimensions. And so John Wesley Ship goes on to say this, We know that Joan and Jay are on Earth Prime, Ship says. We'll see what they come up with. My experience with this group is that they've given you every reason to have faith with whatever they come up with for you. Is going to be interesting and you're going to want to play it. So how is Jay now on Earth Prime? There's a couple of possibilities. The first is simply that since Jay and Joan are scientists who knew crisis were coming, they are able to find a way to escape the destruction of their universe, but it's also possible that elements of Earth 3 were simply folded back into the new Earth Prime, similar to what happened with Supergirl and Black Lightning. Barry and Team Flash were still discovering differences in their world throughout last season after the conclusion of Crisis, so the revelation that a character as important as Jay is still around shouldn't come as much of a surprise. In this latter scenario, this post-Crisis version of Jay would have existed here and likely had a career as The Flash years before Barry Allen. This was the approach that Crisis on Infinite Earths comic book actually took, where many of the characters simply folded into the same existence on the new Earth Prime something which the Flash showrunner may have alluded to in an earlier interview this year. And so this is just part of that other interview I want to go over. So they say, There are things that may have not changed but they are a little different, Eric told the Mary Sue back in January. For example, like a Jay Garrick who used to be on another Earth, Jay Garrick's now on our Earth, now Jay and Joan are alive, so at some point we hopefully will run back into them because they are part of our world you never know what kind of familiar face you might run into. Let's break this down. What essentially is alluded to in this interview with John Wesley Shipp and then later the interview that was done back by the Mary Sue, which is an online publication as well, that was done many months ago in January. So it was actually confirmed a while ago that Jay was returning. I kind of presume myself that Jay was never going to go away because, you know, he's such a big character 
and they can literally do anything. They can wreck on anything due to crisis. They can say, oh, this person is on this earth, this person is dead. You know, they can kind of tie up whatever they want to do. So as far as I know, Jay and Joan are on Earth Prime right now and they are just waiting to be part of the next mission. I think they're just being their normal selves. They're obviously scientists, Jay and Joan, as they were introduced recently. And so I think they definitely found a way to escape Earth 3. That would not be far-fetched at all, considering they are scientists, they knew Crisis was coming, they talked to Barry, and, you know, the fact that Jay is essentially a speedster, he's Jay Garrick, he is a version of the Flash, 100% they can escape if they knew that Crisis was coming, and I'm pretty damn sure they did. So, you know, I would say it's not far-fetched to say that, you know, they easily got away and they're just on Earth Prime. Or there is the other option that the Xeno Geek article does bring up, the fact that, you know, maybe they didn't actually escape and they just got folded into this new reality, kind of how Supergirl's Earth 38 got folded into Earth 1 and they made it Earth Prime. So, same with Black Lightning, wherever Black Lightning came from, he folded into that normal existence now, which is Earth Prime. So, it seems like Barry and Jay are going to team up very, very soon. And I can't wait to see Jay return, and I think John is great as the character. So I'm presuming, considering he mentioned like he was supposed to come a bit earlier, I reckon they're going to delay his appearance until like the back half of the season, probably like right at the start of the back half. Maybe they give him a little storyline, maybe one or two episodes, I would hazard the guess. So yeah, that is about it, and we're going to move on to this other article, so... Again, this is from We Got This Covered, and I'm going to talk about this some more tomorrow about another article because they keep on posting some very, very out there articles that I just have the sort of feeling I have to talk about it because, you know, they're interesting theories, but nothing is ever confirmed which they make to seem as confirmed. So this article is titled, The Flash Will Reportedly Kill Off Spoilers in Its Final Season. So this is what they say. The Arrowverse is set to go through some big changes in 2021, Supergirl will air its final season, we will see the debut of Javicia Leslie as the new Batwoman, and Superman and Lois will focus on the pair as they live in Smallville. But there will also be drama in Central City as Grant Gustin has hinted to that in the upcoming 7th season of The Flash could be its last. While it remains to be seen if that will be the case, we're now hearing from our sources, and here we go again. The same ones who said Ben Affleck is returning as Batman and the Flash solo movie and the Fast and Furious franchise is heading into outer space. Do you guys recognize that? Yes, the past two articles I talked about from this damn website literally said the same thing about their sources. So this same source knows everything apparently. And so they continue to say that the long running show will end in tragedy as Barry Allen will die at some point in its final season sacrificing himself in a bid to stop the reverse flash if this is indeed what happens it would make the flash the second era of a show to kill off its lead character during the series's last run so that is what they talk about in this article and i think it's pretty damn hilarious because if you haven't heard and if you haven't watched any of my videos the flash is an ending with season seven grant has said he wants to go on for as long as he can he literally said that in an interview he talked you guys can go check out i think it was on michael rosenbaum's podcast he said that he was in negotiations to renew his contract which is in fact up at the end of season seven but he wants to go on to season nine and above because he loves playing the flash and after all it is you know the number one show on the network and Grant just loves it as Barry. So he literally mentioned doing up to season 9, he actually said season 9 at least. So I don't know where they're getting their information from, they're definitely making up their information so take it with the biggest grain of salt on the planet. But I wanted to talk about this because it's interesting, if Barry does die in the final season which is not going to be season 7, they said it's season 7 but that is not the case and they literally give a storyline that as to how Barry is going to die in this article they say Barry Allen will die at some point in the final season sacrificing himself in a bid to stop the reverse flash and considering that they haven't even written the end of season 7 there is no way on earth this could be real 
this information because it hasn't been written. And considering the fact that Grant is continuing the show to at least season 9, no way on earth they're on season 9. They haven't even finished season 7, they've probably written like nearly half the season. So there is no way that this source is real, this confirms to you guys basically, and I don't know, so many have confirmed before, these sources are fake and they're just making up themselves to get some clicks. Obviously, you know, very, very sort of topical things, you know, considering Supergirl is ending, so they were like, oh, you know, how can we get a click or something? So the Flash, oh, Barry's gonna die. But the question remains, will Barry actually die? Because I think that is actually a relevant question. So let's ignore this article because it's fake, but I wanted to talk about the topic. So the Flash, will Barry die? I think there is a chance because Arrow did that and I didn't expect them. I thought they would, you know, kill him off and then bring him back, but they never actually did that. So will Barry die? I think it's very unlikely that he will die, but there is a chance because they did do that before with another Arrowverse show. However, I don't think they're just going to copy what they did on Arrow to Oliver, to Barry. And I think, you know, it could be something to do with Reverse Flash if Barry does potentially die. It's very likely, so I guess I kind of see their point. But, you know, nothing's confirmed. However, I think if you guys agree, let me know in the comments down below. I think there is a high chance that he could die. But at the same time, I feel like it's a very different show from Arrow, and I don't think they're going to try and end it in any way that is similar to Arrow. I think The Flash will actually go off and sort of live happily, and I think the same thing will go with when Supergirl ends at the end of this season. I don't think those characters are going to be killed off. However, it is a relevant thing to think about. So, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to briefly touch upon that topic. I really just want to know what you guys think. Do you think Barry will die in its final season, which won't be season 7? But yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.